today we're going to be talking about media kits. Search up here, media kit. There are a bunch of different styles. Some of them are super loud, some of them a little bit more minimal. This one seems interesting. Digital creator. One or two sentences that summarizes who you are and what you do. I wouldn't put things like impressions. We could put like video creator and then you can have like your social stats here. You can also change the icons and replace this picture. Hit replace. Once you have the template and you're editing, you can truly just make it your own. Line these two up. We can bring these down. Make it bigger like that. Make a second page actually from scratch, but inspired by the template. So we can get rid of this. Let's make it the same. And let's get rid of this. This will be like our second page. And then we'll turn this into like a header. On the second page, there's a little bit more to a media kit. Other things that you can include are like your demographic, like who your audience is, and then also your content pillars. I want to do maybe a shape that shows something and then like let's break it down by region this is cool with this information you would go into your analytics and actually plug in these numbers and stuff some people do like the male female split they have a shape for like charts something like this okay so I have more text here honestly we can add another column right here for region so let's do 60 percent i know it seems small right now but that's because we're at 62%. If we were at 100, it's a lot bigger. Your content fillers are basically like the top things that you cover on like your platforms. Usually that's like maybe like three to five things, but you know, don't limit yourself. What's it called? Shapes to reflect that. We have this for creativity. We have our icons here. Duplicate this style of text. What I'm doing here is kind of like similar what I want to do here. Change the text to career. We're gonna add like a little bit of bullet points. So we have this italic. Let's duplicate this. This is like my new style of designing. For me, sometimes it's just throwing things on a page, even if it's like super ugly or like I'm not a thousand percent into it. And then I just refine it later because at least all of the necessary information is on the page. Lastly, past partnerships. This one is where you would put just logos of different brands you would work with. And also these don't even have to be brands. These could be other creators. Do they have a logo? These can be testimonials, text. Let's use these logos with a little plant shop. Let's just duplicate this. So let's say I only work with two brands. You can leave it at two logos, but you can also ask for a testimonial. Like usually sometimes they'll say, oh my God, this content was so great. Love to work with you again. Let's duplicate that. We'll put a quote here, and then we have some alignment things. Maybe we'll say like digital creator, and then we'll put this up top and center. If you ever wanted to change up the colors or anything, or you can use your brand colors as well to mix things up with your template. Here is the final product right now. And we have this page. There we have it our finished two-page media kit that's ready to send to brands. Bye-bye!